Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at adding stills from media in our event library. Now just to clarify what this actually means, if we take a look at our event library you can see that we do have images and we could, albeit this is an embarrassing one, me dressed as Doctor Who when I was about 10, if we drag this image over here onto our timeline. We've now obviously got a still in our timeline and as we scrub over our timeline you can see obviously it doesn't quite fill the screen so we get some image behind it as well. Um, but what if we have a piece of video like this one of me talking away and we wanted to use this as a still image. Now inside of the new update of Final Cut Pro 10.0.6 which is what this little mini series is covering we can create a still frame from a piece of video within our event browser and add it to the timeline in one keystroke. What we do, we park our playhead over where we want it to where we want our still to come from. Let's take this one where I look thoroughly unimpressed. I've clicked there to set the point, a bit like parking the playhead inside of the timeline. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold down option and we're gonna press F. And you can see, now in our timeline, exactly where we had our playhead, which was here. It's put in our clip and attached it to the primary storyline. So now, at that point, we play back. Bam. We've just taken a piece of video, chosen a point, added a still frame of that video, into the timeline using the shortcut Option F or Alt F if you're in England like me. So you can see this is going to be very useful. Um, quite often uh, still frames are used. There's, there'll be loads of times maybe when you have a title uh, and you just want to have a title, a default title, or you just want to take a still from a title. There's going to be loads of cases where this is going to be handy and just remember option F and it attaches from wherever you've selected in your clip in your event library and it attaches it to the primary storyline wherever your playhead is so hopefully this was useful really quick tutorial thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with some brand new tutorials